Spunky 1000 and today I got a parcel that I ordered and I thought I'd do a review and share it with you since <coughs> a lot of people are always looking for for these. So we're going to open it up and we'll see what we got. Okay guys, so I'm going to bring it down so you can see a little bit better what I got here. And I ordered this, so that's something I need. And uh, sort of a lot of people. Especially if you live in Florida. I want to see how well this is going to work. So, I bought me a new mat. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having my coughing moment now. So, this is, I know, everybody gets these. They buy them for their house, for the kitchen, everywhere, right? Well, I have a lot of trouble because I have to be able to wash mine because, you know, they get dirty. They get nasty, especially living in Florida. You get a lot of sand in them. It's just shaking them out is not enough. So, I usually get them at Wally World, and this time I didn't because the ones I get from Wally World, they don't last very long. And so they um, fall apart and then I have to buy another one. And I have a long one and I don't need it because we're gonna put it at the front door and I needed a square one. And I'm gonna show you why I need it so badly at the front door. And if you can see from here, way over there by the door, you may not be able to see. So let me bring you over a little bit. And the leaves all get in the house, see? This is what happens. And we got all these leaves all over the place. And I don't know if the camera's picking them up or not. So, <clears throat> here, let me take you off so you can see a little bit better. And see, there you go. So, see, it gets all over the place. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to sweep this up real quick. And then we'll put this mat in front. And I had a runner. And if I have a runner going this way, those things slide. They move around. And with her having a walker, I can't chance it to slide on her. And then if I had it this way, going long ways, I have to put it underneath the fireplace. Because I decided to leave the fireplace exactly where it is. I was going to put it back in front of the window over here. That, but, um, because... I like the window open and it gives more light in the house so we're just going to leave it like this and we're going to leave the fireplace there. So I can't put anything underneath it especially if I'm going to use it and so I, I needed a square one. So let me clean this up. I'm going to sweep it up. I just wanted to show you how much sand and dirt comes into the house without one and they really do work and they work good. I do have one outside as I'll show you. And that is still not enough. And this one I've had for a bit. And that's a heavy duty one. Now when you have one in the house here because of the doorway down here where you can see this is very small. So it doesn't give you much room in between to have a thick uh, mat to put here. So I had to make sure it was a thin one. So I went online and I was looking around and I found one. So this is the one I found over here, and it matches the house, you know, my floor and that. So I thought it's got a good padding on the back. It is machine washable in cold water, and that's a good thing. And I paid $21.95, I believe, for this, So, and I like the pattern on it. So um, it's a little bit more, but at the same time, if it lasts a long time, it seems like it's got a good border on here. If it lasts a long time, it doesn't get a, you know, a lot of the times one of these will poke out and, and then it puts a hole in it and all kinds of things. So, you know, but I got to have them because here in Florida, we just got to have them. So I'll be right back. I'm going to sweep that up and then we'll, we'll show it to you. Okay, guys, as you see. It's, it's not a real big one, but I didn't, couldn't have a big one. There's Bruno in my video. Bruno, go. <laughs> He's sniffing it out. So, 
that's what I got. It looks seems pretty good for now. We'll see in time how well it works. It, it doesn't want to move, so that's kind of a good thing because I don't want it to move, you know. And uh, let me see if I go outside and come in and make sure that the door is going to fit because I didn't check that. There you go. It's pretty close, so you got to see. I have to have it pretty thin for this doorway. Now let's see. Walk in. And we're going to walk back out, and Bruno's helping me today. So it kind of moves a little bit, not real bad. I mean, the other one just slid everywhere, so I couldn't have that with my mom. So hopefully this will work out a little bit. It will bring in, I mean, it's going to help. It's not perfect. It's not going to solve the problem completely, but it will help. So anyways, that. Yeah, I like the color. They did have these at runways too, but um, I can't really have a runway here with her. I, they, they slide too much. You have to have them underneath something to, to hold it steady, you know. But I think that might work for now. There we go. So, I just thought maybe if anybody was interested in mats that having trouble like I am and trying to find the right one. And, and to see how long it's going to last, too, because, um, you know, that's the whole thing. You pay a lot of money for these, for what they are, and in and, and a month or two after washing it and putting it down, and then some of them you can't even wash because the backing, the rubber backings come off. So then you got to buy that mesh stuff to put underneath to out, go. He wants to be in my video. And, uh, <coughs> so, he, um, so, anyway, so I thought maybe, you know, maybe you might be interested in this one. I will let you know in time, um, you know, how well it really, really going to work. I mean, you're never going to really know until a few months down the road, so. But, that's, that will hopefully help the sand somewhat. And I would like to get one of those robots one day because I think if I used even the vacuum cleaner robot in here that I think it would cut down. I, I could do this every day, sweep this floor, and there would still be sand or dirt on this floor. So that's why I don't have carpet because if you had carpet in here, oh, it would be sopped. It would be a beach. So, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people in Florida have the same problem. Because, really, we live, our backyards are beaches. They're full of sand. So, anyways. So, that was concludes my video for the rug. And um, if you have any other suggestions, maybe somebody has a better suggestion than what I have found, um, let me know in the comments below. Okay? So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to have some more videos coming up. I'm kind of on uh, part-time working in the office now so um i can't really talk about it. but anyway so i'll probably be home and i'll be able to make a few more videos so um yeah so i got some more coming up real quick so keep watching for them and i hope you like your vi my video and uh stay tuned for more monkey sister stuff for now bye y'all